He made his first appearance in scene four of episode one. And as always, he's one of the first to arrive on set. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. As Cam Barlow, Bill has now appeared in over 4,600 episodes of The Street. <laughs> During his six decades acting on the programme, he's become renowned for his exemplary work ethic. And action. Oh, hi. I uh, saw so Peter just now. Right, has he calmed down? Oh, so ranting about. The thing about Bill is that he's just cool, he just takes everything in his stride, and he has a very relaxed manner and a relaxed way of being. Now, thanks for a part of the perpetuating. Oh, sorry. Self perpetuating. Self perpetuating. Self perpetuating. Because he's the top of the tree. So the way that he behaves kind of sets the rules for everybody else. It's going to have lots of smarties in it, that one. That's great. The Barlow's is always a nice place uh, to work. A lot of that is to do with Bill. Just that atmosphere, very warm. OK, thank you. Love you. Thanks, Mark. That never, ever happens <laughs> to Bill. He never, ever gets a word wrong or drops it, ever. <laughs> <laughs> just on this day, self-perpetuating was particularly <laughs> peculiar. But where did his on-screen career begin? Back in 1958, as an ambitious 26-year-old actor, William Roach made his first appearance on screen. I don't get it. We're all here for this one registration. I was told there wouldn't be more than three applicants. But they've advertised for an Anista this as well. Over the following couple of years, Bill's star continued to rise. And I got a lead in a television play called Marking Time. That was filmed at Granada. This was going to make me a career, quantum move forward, brilliant. And while I was filming that, unbeknown to me, Tony Warren pointed to me and said, he's the one I want for Ken Barlow. 24-year-old writer Tony Warren may have felt he'd found the perfect can for his new drama set in a street in Salford, but Bill wasn't so keen. My agent persuaded me to come up and do the pilot. He said, you're not working, you've got nothing on, might as well do it. And this is the contract, which I don't ever remember seeing. So I'll have a look at it now. I wonder how much money I got for doing the pilot. Wow. 21 pounds. It was called Florizel Street when we started rehearsing and everything. And I remember coming into the room and I said Florizel. And, and a groan went up. Apparently a lot of people have been not liking it. And one of the cleaners had said it sounds like a sanitary detergent. So the producer came in, he said, right, I don't care what name you've got, so long as it's Coronation Street, and that was it. Granada staff loved the pilot episode and persuaded executives to commission a series, but Bill would still take some convincing. I've got my flat in London and a lot's going to happen. I don't want to do a thing which is just in the north, a little northern comedy, I thought. And then, anyway, my agent persuaded me, he said, well, look at it this way, Bill. It's only going to run for 11 weeks. That's all it's going to do. So I said, OK, I'll do it. Um, and it's been a very long 11 weeks. Bill was 28 years old when the very first episode was broadcast on the 9th of December, 1960. Oh, no. <laughs> Got to do this at college, then. Surrounded by northern working-class characters, Ken Barlow stood out as the intellectual on the street. We're not good enough. Look, I never said a word in his start. I think in the very early days, Ken was a student, you know, and he was an angry student, you know, and he was political. And he had all sorts of views that clashed with everybody else in the streets. Hey, what right have you got to do that? You better get rid of the rest of them, too, before I fire them, too. I don't have no argument, Kenneth. 